Hey everyone! So today you should have started by um, watching the video iPhone SE 2020 versus iPhone 11. You only needed to watch the first 54 seconds of that video and um, if you haven't done that yet you want to go and watch just so you kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, and so I'll pause, 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 wait for you to go watch that. Hopefully you have <laughs> watched it now. So I'm going to go ahead and model. So you'll see here um, kind of how you would set that up. It's going to have the two circles of Venn diagram. That's how we're going to be doing the compare and contrast. You're going to put um, the one thing. Um, so that you have on one side, so iPhone SE 2020 is going to go on the first side, and the opposite side is going to go iPhone 11, just like what I have up there, so you can set it up before you get going. The things that are the same are going to go in the middle, and the things that are different or opposite or not alike are going to go on either varying sides. So I'll start here and kind of walk you through my thought process. Okay, so these both have a retina display, but they're different. One is just the IPS, so I wrote retina, LCD, and then the liquid, retina, IPS LCD. Okay, so those are two different things. So I'm putting on different sides. Similar. Okay, so the screen sizes are different. So again, I'm going to put those here the 4.7 inches and then the 6.1 inches. Okay, so the screen resolutions are different, um, and um, so I'm going to put the differences in the screens here. So one has a resolution thirty-four. The other has the resolution eight twenty-eight. To 1792. Okay. Okay. So one thing I noticed here is they both have the oleophobic coating, so I'm putting that in the middle. However, there is still some differences. So even though they're similar, they are different. Um, one has, the iPhone 11 has the scra scratch resistant glass. So I'm putting that there. Okay. So again, they both have the iOS 13, so I'm putting that into the middle here. Okay, they both have the Apple A13 Bionic, so I'm gonna put that again into the center. Looks like they both have a hex core CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and write that there. Hex core. That's going to go in the center because they both uh, are similar and they have that CPU. All right. So part of the internal storage is the same. So you can get it in those various sizes of 64. 128 or 256 as they're both available in those gigabytes. However, um, one has the 
three gigabyte of RAM. While the other has, on the other hand, it has a four, four gigabytes of RAM. All right, so that's where we stopped. And we came up with that. Same kind of thing that I have there for you on the side at 54 seconds. We don't need to keep watching it. You can if you want. Now, I want to reiterate that this is a mistake that a lot of people make that Ms. Burrell made right now. Okay, so I wanted you to see some of the compare and contrasting words. And so I try to say those like however, similarly, different. Um, so maybe you can pull some of those out, comment for us what you saw. However, if Ms. Burrell was really going to choose between one of these two phones, she does not have any idea what this stuff means. Okay, I do not have any idea what a Retina IPS LCD is. I do know what 4.8 inches and 6.1 inches. I think that one's bigger, um, but I, I don't really know. I know that you want to have a higher resolution, but I can't really, like, there's not a huge difference here. Um, and so I might have to research, do I need four gigabytes of RAM? What, what is RAM? Ms. Burrell's not really techy, right? She just takes the phone that's on sale. So if I really wanted to know, there was a lot of vocabulary, a lot of words on here. And the purpose of comparing and contrasting, especially if I'm going to purchase one of these, is to understand these terms. So if you don't understand something, you need to realize that. Say in your head, I have no idea what any of this means. And so a good learning tip is, hey, I'm going to figure out the definitions. So again, if you saw some signal words or phrases in there, you learned something new today, something you just want to comment, write it down below. Great to see you, friends. See you on the internet.